Oh my god. You know, I could turn that bat like that and put it to the side and put that closet right there. But Hey, good morning. Could be the next day, but actually a few days have passed, almost a week. I cleaned the whole place. Every little corner is touched by some cleaning stuff. <laughs> I spent my days mostly relaxing and enjoying the, the area here. There's many, many restaurants. They're not expensive and really tasty. Can you imagine? So, do you see this chair? It's a nice leather, very comfortable chair. I was walking in the street and there were these office people and they were, they were carrying it to the, to the road. And it had like a red sticker on it. So I, was, so I was asking like, are you guys throwing it away? And they were like, yeah, we're going to throw it away. <laughs> they didn't say that in English, but it was clear to me that they were going to throw it away. So I was like, uh, can, can I take it? And they were like, yeah, please, please take it. It was kind of heavy to carry it back all the way here. I'm super happy with it. It's pretty comfortable, nice. It's my new favorite chair, I will enjoy a coffee, a whiskey, whatever. It will be cool. <laughs> I bought the wrong types of egg. So these were already pre-fried inside the shell. So not fried, but boiled, boiled, I guess. But it had like a fire symbol on it and it came with this like pack of salt. So I was like, oh, these are for frying. <laughs> anyway, I still put them in there and um, it will be tasty anyway. Hmm. Actually, I think this is more tasty, the eggs. So, mm. so in the beginning of this vlog I was thinking it will be me enjoying various types of food. When I'm enjoying some nice view I'm just whoa, enjoying that. But when I see, when I'm having nice food I think like, oh uh, I could share this. And then, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Morning. Today will be my first work day. I'm uh, excited, not too nervous, but excited, and I have to hurry a bit because Mark is waiting for me at the, the subway station. I'm still on time though, but <laughs> it's hard to get out of the bed. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'll go there and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Didn't really record my first day at work. I mean, like. That would be awkward, right? <laughs> um, but this is going to my work though, and it's really, really busy, right? It's not always that busy, but like it can be really busy in the subway, like packed, like 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 this. All these people, it's just. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really film anything after this for like two weeks, so next video will be like two weeks later. All right. So I'm back at the area with the immigration office to get my registration card because it's exactly about... Well, not exactly, but it's like... <laughs> it has been a month and they got my card. Oh my god, so I had to go to the second floor, right? Second floor is for all the Chinese people. They do their application there in a separate room. The whole like floor is for them. For good reason. They... Oh my god, it was chaos. Really chaos. After I found out where I had to go, I got like this ticket with the number on it. But the screens were all blank. There were just people waiting in front of the counters like Hey, 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 it's my turn, 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 it's my turn. It was so chaos. So I asked the dude like, yo, I'm not going to fight for my spot, you know, just fix the screen and make the number. I mean, the screens were not broken, they were just not showing anything. They were just showing number zero. But, oh my god, and then there's this, this guy and he just arrived and he just pushed to the front and then he was going to sit there and then I was like, yo, I'm out, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to push myself to the front, just queue up for, for sake. Because I asked like, yo, I'm not going to do this and then I came back, yo, I'm not going to do this, just tell me where I need to wait because I was probably annoying for them or making a problem. They 
just took my application and gave me my card. We're like, yo, sorry, it's not working here. Please go. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, I still feel bad. I, I kind of did the same thing. I went in front of line, I have my card, but oh man, I didn't want to join the, the Chinese chaos of not queuing and just the strongest is the first in line. No way. No. <laughs> anyway, I should be happy. I have the freaking card. So now, next, I will. I mean, it's in the morning. I used. I need to go. <laughs> My words are not <laughs> working. I will use this to go to the bank immediately. Normally I would go to work in the morning, but now I will fix my bank account. I will go to a telecom shop to get a phone plan, to get rid of my prepaid, and also get Wi-Fi. Because in my room, the Wi-Fi is really unstable, and it's a shared Wi-Fi with multiple people. I will just get my own, because sometimes it's not working, and that's really annoying. This place is not super far, it's just, as far as to my work, but the other way. So it's it's still halfway to Seoul, the other way. Anyway, I will go back now and the bank is near my apartment, so that's convenient. Uh, phone company as well. And then I will just fix those things and then go to work. So this is the shoemaker's district. There's a lot of shoe factories here. You can buy handmade shoes. I'm planning to do that later. My building of the company is, is like the end of this street. I'm on my way to the company now. And yeah, so I went to the bank, right? I sat down, talked to this lady. She was able to speak English very well. So that's nice. But she told me, yeah, it's very difficult for a foreigner or even Korean to open a bank account. Why do you want to open a bank account? And I was just thinking like, why is it difficult though? I mean, now I got the registration card, it should be easy, right? Got the registration card, have a phone number and address. What do you need? Anyway, she so just was like, why do you need it? And I was like, because I will get salary and I live here. I need to spend money, right? <laughs> I think it was just some like discouragement or something. But after that, it was fairly easy. However, I had to sign many, many documents. So I think I signed at least 12 times. Just name and signature. Half of those documents were in Korean. So I, was, I felt like I, I, I was selling my soul, really, because I, yeah, but what do you do, you know? You cannot translate it all, and oh, maybe I should have, or maybe I shouldn't, but nah, it's just a bank account. I got all the information that I need about fees and charges. Now I don't have to walk around with cash. It's just annoying, you know? You cannot have all the cash in your wallet. Sometimes you run out, you don't have any money. You need to use your, I mean, in my case, my Dutch bank card, then they will charge me in Holland. So I don't have to deal with this. I'm super happy. And also this card you can use in the subway. So I had a separate card for a subway before, but in Korea, you can actually use your bank card to open the gate for the subway. So that's really convenient. And yeah. Yo, almost got hit by a car. Anyway, uh, I also went to the telecom shop to change my prepaid to a phone plan. But that was, I mean, I went there. It was the same phone shop I went before to get the prepaid one. I was happy to see the guy, but I think the guy was not too happy to see me because he is not able to speak English at all. The last time we managed, but I think it, like gave him some stress or something, I don't know. Anyway, this time we managed also. Wait, let me check my phone real quick. I'm meeting with my colleagues uh, now <laughs> at work and then we will have lunch. Anyway, um, um, so yeah, I went to the, the phone shop. I got a data plan, a little bit expensive for my liking, but I guess that's just the price for, uh, for the plans here in Korea. I hope I didn't get ripped off though, but nah, it's all right. It's not like crazy expensive. It's just for like compared to the other thing that I got Wi-Fi for in my room It's super speed super fast and it's very cheap. So I was like why I don't see the the balance in those two. It's not too much. I'm not talking about more than 100 euro in total. It's all right. So I Have those things sorted out This is uh, the building of my work by the way Yeah I'm happy. Today was a lot of 
arranging things. But I managed to do them all. So let's have some lunch, I'm hungry. Uh, elevators. There is no elevator to success, only stairs. This video was pretty fun to make. I was like messing around with that little map thingy in the corner, zooming in on it and out, and it was pretty interesting and frustrating sometimes. Oh, this 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 editing software, what the hell? Anyway, <laughs> forget about that. My next video is about New Year's 2016, 2017. I got caught in a protest, like against the president back then. It's ready for a war. <laughs> I guess you cannot really hear me <laughs> because they are shouting so loud. Anyway, check it out.